As I've been seeing all the op-eds and everything of what the Occupy movement should do, I'm really put off by most of those because I have the feeling that it's for the people who are in the camp and who are getting arrested, who are on the street right now, who should be deciding among themselves what to do. And the people from outside who aren't taking part in that action uh, should just join it, get on the tracks, get arrested, make their suggestions in jail if necessary, or in the tents. Yeah. And uh, so I'm very glad that this, this that I'm in a position now, as I was the other night at Sproul Plaza, to be uh, to be in the street to make a, a speech to you because that's that's where the advice should go. And my uh, my opinion on that question, I do have an opinion on violence, where it has led and whether it gets you to where you want to go. I'll say right now, I don't believe in the diversity in, uh, in terms of the violence and the breaking of windows and whatnot because. We know from Viet Vietnam case and many others that when the news from that came to the Oval Office, and I'm afraid the same, well, I don't want to say whether for sure, whether the notes on those reports would be the same that Nixon wrote, but when those reports came to Nixon's desk, they would be with the scrawl in the margin by H.R. Haldeman and Ehrlichman. Good, look at this, great, you know, for us. Meaning that it justified the repression that they wanted to unleash and that they did unleash and uh, it was good for them in prolonging the war, not for shortening the war, with all the good intentions of the people who had been driven crazy by the stalemate on the war and the ability not to do anything, very natural, natural result. But I'll talk about that more later. I'm delighted to be here tonight, and those of you who can stick around, uh, I'll answer your questions then, and we'll look forward to it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.